Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning everybody. Good morning everyone. Welcome back. Standing in the shade. Another beautiful day. Uh, it's not too hot at the moment so I'm going to crack on and get the watering done before it gets too hot. Um, tomato plants are coming along nicely. Mm. I'm getting a bit tall now so I have to watch this um, yeah, alfy barrier so I don't want to <laughs> stunt their growth. So yeah, so, uh, um, and the vines coming on a treat. Um, that was the one that we thought was dead, so we left it there in the pot when we replanted the others in the ground. Um, and now look at it. It's doing amazingly well. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Mint and basil coming up on this one as well. Yeah. Which are you, but there's not much to see. There's at the not minute, much although to see. It's not very exciting. They are getting there, aren't they? They are. So, yes, as usual, we've got a lot to get through on this one. Um, various things you want to get done and of course I want to get this wall finished off yes, this time. never ending wall. The never ending wall, it's going to be ended this video. <laughs> right okay so those who have been following, um, we're getting all these walls pointed um, in the courtyard. I've just got, just he says, um, that bit at the bottom to do here, around the, the gate, um, we've done all that wall, got a bit more to do over there but we don't need to worry about that just yet. Um, it's been a hell of a job, um, so many holes, so many stones have had to go back in there, buckets and buckets of them, mixes, mix after mix after mix. Um, but there is a light at the end of my tunnel and I'm hoping to get that finished on this video because what we want to do is put a big stone floor down, can you see that on here, probably not, to match what we've already put down in the rest of the area and then we can make ourselves a nice um, outdoor patio area. Um, said before but we're going to put some where well, the sleepers are here wood henge as um, Chris called it we're going to put some joists over the top with the sail shade up there for now with a long term plan of growing vines up um, to give us shade in the summer and when they lose the leaves it will allow sun to come in in the winter perfect situation we think our barbecue is just over there um, so yeah it should be a lovely area but until we get it finished we can't do anything with it so I'm going to get another mix on, yet another one and crack on. This is what we got so far, that's the area I'm working on just over there around the gate. Um, all these walls are done. Um, let the camera adjust. The chicken shed and that wall there still need doing, that's probably going to be uh, a bar storage area. Cats is on the roof, our barbecue area is done. Um, and this is the floor we're talking about we're going to do the whole rest of it the same as this um, assuming we can find enough stone big stones to put down um, which is going to be a bit of a challenge as always but we'll get there I've rebuilt a lot of this stonework around the, the doorway there um, at the bottom here I can move over um, you can still see it's a put a lot of the stones back in um, there's still a few holes but uh, I can do them as I go um, so I've got a bag of stones, I've got a pile of stones there I've got a bucket of stones there so that's coming out, there we go <laughs> and um, I'm time to get a mix on we're using sand and lime um, a mortar to point it up traditionally um, because we like the colour as well it works well with the stones and um, right, enough waffle I know we've covered this before, but we've got a lot of new subscribers, 8,000 now. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos. Um, I'm using a four to one sand and lime mix. It's hydrated lime, um, pure white, lovely stuff, and pretty much standard building sand, but a bit, a bit sharp, a bit coarse. Um, I use this tub to measure it. One measure of sand full to the top, and then if you can see the calibration marks vaguely on there, Another one of lime up to there gives me four parts lime, four parts sand and one part lime. All goes in a bucket, makes it up to a stiffish consistency, and um, stick it in the wall. Let's do it.
once we've got our mix here, just take our pressure sprayer, give it a good wet down. That helps the, the mortar to adhere to the wall. Um, small areas at a time because it does dry out incredibly quickly. Alfie's coming to help. I'm only going down to there because I'm sitting on my bench and she'll do the rest sitting on the floor later, hopefully. <laughs> Excellent. Then all we do, slot the mortar into the joints by hand, wearing gloves of course, and then fill them in. Um, any bigger holes we get, we'll try and hammer a stone in, they're called pinning stones. Find the right size that will just fit in and then look up to the stones around it. Um, that will go in there I think. Slap a bit of mortar in. Give me other hand. Fortunately there aren't many of these left because I've done most of them but there's still, still a couple. Mortar in there. Take our stone, take our hammer. Where's it gone? There we go. And um, give it a good tap in. Cool. Right, I shall carry on. Well, I've got a bit of a poorly back. I think I did myself an injury on Monday when I was carting barrow loads of poo and soil and to fill that bath. Um, so I'm having to be a bit careful, but one job I can do is cut this oleander bag every year you've probably seen me do it before it starts to grow from the bottom and bushes right out so that we can't walk between it and the mandarin tree and also it's um, starting to grow from here as well and really we just want a nice canopy a nice shaped canopy gives us some good shade and um, so it's a bit of a shame because some of them are in bud and um, but a lot of them have died off so uh, job for today I'm just going to trim this back tidy it all up and then when my back's better I've got this courtyard to do I tidied up there the other video and uh, this one's desperately in need of a clean up but I can't be sweeping at the moment so just doing what I can do wearing gloves of course because the sap can be harmful to humans and animals now crack on. So I've got quite a bit done there. Um, I'm just assuming it's sitting on the floor position. I'm going to get this bit done as far as I can up there, down to the floor. And that just leaves the, a thinner bit over there to do. Well, there it is done. Um, all that remains, as I say, is to clean up the courtyard and all the stones that are sort of edging the tree. Um, they're covered in bird poo because we've had some birdies playing in the tree. So I need to get a scrubbing brush and clean all those up, but to be honest, my back's really not up to scrubbing at the moment, so that'll have to wait. Um, the top of the tree, if you can see, I think Andy's going to point the camera, you, there are some quite a few dead branches which need to come off um, but again that's a, a, for another day when I can get the ladder out and um, I think might need a bit more than a pair of secateurs up there so but for now we've got rid of all this we can now walk between the two trees um, and I'm ready for a cold drink Hi, so it's really coming along done to there um, just a little bit to do and up this bit here um, I'm going to knock a bit of this stuff off the top here in anticipation to, to save me from rest me from bending down for when I come to this bit. That's solid, that can stay. 
any loose bits though can come off and we'll get this looking the same as that so I shall carry on with this I have to put my goggles on there's a bit of dust falling down <laughs> okay. right okay we've got up to here didn't quite get that bottom bit done just that to do strip up there over the top of there and on the other side of course um, but it's looking really really nice so happy with the way it's turned out and, uh, and it's not going to fall down um, which is an even bigger bonus um, but it's six I've been six hours out in the heat today and I'm, I've had enough we're going to take the buggy out and go and get a cold beer somewhere Right oh, so we had a good run out on the buggy yesterday. Um, unfortunately, it has a super hard life. Um, and all these bumpy tracks and things with vibration and shocks. Um, we managed to sort most of it out, um, so it functions all right, but we have endless problems with these back lights. They're just like standard trailer back lights, really. Um, but all the vibration and the shocks and things, forever having to mess about with the connections and the bulbs and stuff. So. I've decided to get some LED lights for it. I've um, done a bit of research and it turns out that LED lights are shock and vibration resistant. Um, so hopefully that's going to solve our problem. Um, I'll put a link in the description um, to these if anyone's interested in doing the same. So what I'm going to do, um, I figured out the wires. Um, I'm going to take these off, connect these up and um, see how they work. First problem I've got is undoing the bolts um, that hold them on. I don't really want to cut them off. <laughs> They've been in the flood and all sorts, this one. And we're all flooded out. So it's had some bit of rust damage on it. We'll give them a soak with some penetrating spray and see if we can get them off. So whilst Andy's doing the lights, I'm going to help him out on this wall, otherwise we'd never get it finished. Um, but I'm just having to do what I'm comfortable with because my back's better but not great so I'm just going to do it at my level and uh, and you can take over. I've actually got a viewing on a caravan this afternoon, I've only got one left for sale on, on a very very early video and it's been there two years really. Um, the owners had to go back to the UK because of Covid um, and they're wanting to sell it because they're not planning on coming back to Spain now. So I would have viewing at two o'clock, so I'll just do as much as this as I can and then go and get myself ready. So wish me luck. Right, so with them off, <laughs> of course, that's to be expected. The holes don't quite line up for the new ones. So I'm just going to enlarge these a bit. Take it off hammer. <laughs> Don't need much. Try that. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Lovely. Right, I'm going to wire it up. I might even put some um, rubber washers behind there to help with the vibration as well. That would probably be a good idea. I've got some somewhere, some fibre washes or some nylon washes, um, just to perhaps help it a bit. We'll have a look what we've got.
There we go, they look pretty smart, uh, unlike the rest of it, <laughs> but we'll work on that. We've even contemplated completely stripping it down and rebuilding it and stuff, but maybe in the future. For now, we're just going to use it. Anyway, I'll get them wired up, get them working. Yeah, that's all pretty good um, the direction indicators might be flashing a bit quick um, it's a simple case you just add a resistor into the positive line it costs a couple of euros that's all quite often you get it with LEDs there's not enough resistance to make them flash at the correct speed but we're not too concerned about that at least we're not going to get pulled by the police now for not having lights not working now the case come along nicely um, so I'm doing a good job there while I've been otherwise occupied but we're going to jump on it now. Big push to get it finished. Get me gloves on. I've forgotten how exciting it is. Oh, it's it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, let's crack on. Well, that worked pretty well, a joint effort. This bottom's finished now. Most of behind the sleepers done. There's a little bit of the top. Shamra's done all that down there, which is great. Um, big help, it saves a lot of time. So I think we're going to have a spot of lunch and then get another of mixing. Shaman's going to go and sort this caravan out, do a top saleswoman thing, and uh, I'm going to carry on with this. Right, I think the next thing I'm going to do is have a look at the top of this wall. It's the same on that half. I can do half of it um, because it's really bad, but I'll, when I do the other side, I'll finish the top off properly. But for now, if it doesn't ever rain, we've had zero rain in April so far, it's the 28th today, um, it'll send it the other way and not onto my new point a bit. Um, so I've just given it a brush off, my brush is still up there for when I move along a bit. Um, I'll get a mix on and slap some in there. I was finally a bit in the dust, time for a new one. <laughs> um, look, I've got a, a baby one in reserve, it needs a bit of a clean, but it'll do the job. On top of the wall. Um, you can see there's all these stones there, I've just piled them up. Um, these have all come out, I'm going to put them back in. Not too bad over there. Um, so yeah, let's crack on and get some, some strength thrown back into it. Alrighty, that'll do for now. Show you what I've done. <laughs> Basically, you can make that out. All the front half here um, is done. Um, so I'll do the back half when I do the other side of the wall but for now that should let the water run off I'll come and give it a bit of a neating up in a second um, but yeah essentially we can start concentrating on the rest of it on the front side now so for the next bit I want to try and get this bit here done and then down behind that sleeper and um, we'll get this done we will get this done <laughs> give it a good soaking Be a monumental achievement. Right, let's do it. Ah. Need a couple of small stones to go in there. Look here, I've got me, got me thing here. Right, we'll carry on. Oh, fantastic! There's really not much to do now. A um, little bit of the bottom there, just up the inside from here downwards, 
and that'll be brought me head. Um, it's gonna be finished on this video for sure. It's the last thing we do. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's looking really good. And then we're looking forward to getting started on the floor. Right, okay, all the bottoms done, all the pairs done. And some of that, um, well, I've got more on the frame than on the wall. <laughs> I've almost rendered it in. Just gonna wash off what I can before it goes too hard. Give it a little scrub. Frame up there. Dear me. It does come off alright, fortunately. <laughs> cool. Right, just that bit to do. And today, my back's a bit better, thankfully, so I've done a job that's been bugging me for a long time, and that's cleaning up this lower courtyard. If you remember, I trimmed the tree earlier, um, and there were bits everywhere, and... Uh, dead leaves it's been a real mess and bugging me for a while so today I've done it thank goodness it will be as bad again by next weekend because that's what happens but for now it looks a lot better so happy days ready for a cold beer now and Sharon's just finishing off the last bit the last precarious bit above the gate and we're so close to being there. Got down the left hand side of the gate frame to do as well, of course. But that can always wait. Right. <laughs> it's done. It's been a long time. It's not done, done, but well. enough is done. Yeah. And um, we've got just down the side of the door, but we've got that bit over there to do yet as well. But that can wait for now we can now start and get our floor down yes. um the other side of the wall as we said before it's pretty bad um but it's it shouldn't fall down not gonna fall down <laughs> no. anytime soon no good this all needs cleaning off of course i've literally just finished doing that top bit and um, let it go off a little bit and i'll clean that off so it'll look a lot better next time you see it but yes it's super 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 happy days isn't Absolutely. it and um, i think we've earned a beer i think so. this has been a right so weeks <laughs> weeks and weeks of it we've had yeah. so we'll have a nice cold beer um we'll see you on thursday, thursday. we're back on thursday carrying on hopefully starting on the floor um, thank you so much for watching everybody. Thank you so much to everyone that supported the channel. We'll leave you with a clip of the, the birds tweeting in the tree, our evening chorus. Yes. <laughs>